What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You can see what it is right now. Early, early conference standings. We haven't played a conference game. Nobody has, obviously. But we're sitting at 0-1. We see what the other guys are doing. And for the most part, everybody has a winning record or at least at 500. Cal Poly, 3-0. and All right? So they could be the top dogs when it comes to this conference. We lost to the Aggies of New Mexico. We are also called the Aggies. We'll be taking on Texas. So it's like Texas versus Texas A&M. We also got some coaches going on the road. We got to do some recruiting. Recruiting isn't the most important thing for this year. Okay, it's college basketball. Of course, you got to recruit. But for this year, everybody's an underclassman. Well, not underclassman. Nobody's a senior. So everybody should be coming back next year. So we do have to make sure that we get some better players on the team. But we are going to try to do what we can with the guys that we have. So Williams gets the ball inside. We're laying it up. Easy two points. We're kicking Texas. You know where, okay? We're going to get the ball inside again. And again, it's an easy two. So right now, it's four to two. They score, it's 4-4. Four four. We leave Spooner wide open. He knocks down the tray ball, and now it's going to be 7-4. to four. Now it's 9-4. to four. The game is starting to get out of hand. They're starting to get some fast break opportunities. I didn't jump for the rebound because I'm thinking that he's just going to lay it up and in. So that's on me. We should have had a rebound right there. Then we missed an easy little, like, I don't know what that is, but I know we missed it. So they're coming back the other way. We're down by 7. We could really use a stop right here, but people are running open. Quick pass inside. It was like a pinball machine, just boop, 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 boop. And, yeah, just like that, we're down even more. Down by 12, but we get the ball inside again. That's where our bread is butter. We can score inside with the best of them. Outside shooting, not the best, as you can see right there. Big rebound, though, and we lay it back up and in. So the mid-range is decent on this team. Some guys can shoot the three. Like this young man right here, okay? And the release was stupendous. The release was marvelous, all right? My team out here doing what it does, okay? You see Davis, we ain't nothing to mess with. And clearly Spooner isn't nothing to mess with neither. That boy is lining us up from downtown. 28 to 13 is the score now. We'll get the ball inside. Big Haley. Lays it up and in, baby. Yes, that move is deadly. That's my bread and butter, okay? I'm going to be using that all series long. Now, we right there, I was playing man-to-man. -man. It switched to a 2-3 zone. It got on my nerves. So now, from, all, from, from here on out, nothing is going to be on auto. I kind of play on auto just to get used to my teammates. I don't want to focus on who needs a substitution, who needs to do this, who needs to do that. I just want to know who can do what in what scenario. He definitely can shoot the three, okay? The great value, J.J. Redick rocking that number four. That's him. Should have stolen that pass right there, but we don't, and we're down by 22 points, okay? But we got the ball back. Getting the ball inside. Nice spin move. Share the sugar, though. Nobody's selfish on this, on this team, baby. Nobody. We get the ball inside again, okay? Got to kick it out. Nice little mid-range jumper, and that's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But we're getting our teeth kicked in, 54-31 to 31 at the halftime whistle, all right? So not the best game so far for us we're on the cusp of going 0-2 but we can come back and if we don't come back i want to see what these guys can do okay okay and yeah my guys they can do pretty nice book out he gets the ball inside he scores it they are better than us so they're gonna do a lot of things nicer than we do it but it's all right 65 34 is now the score they are scoring in bunches we get a nice little crossover right there and yeah he's not the best point guard He's uh, like sitting at like 58 overall, but it is what it is, man. These are the guys that I'm rocking with. We knock down the three of Williams, get the ball inside, nice spin move again, and that's what we got to do. Just get the ball inside, try to get stops on defense, and we can do our thing. This team defensively, though, isn't the greatest, so we got to make sure that we get some big guys to shut down the middle, like some European Africans that are like seven foot, something like that, and we got to play better defense around the perimeter. Okay, but we definitely got to get rebounds, get the ball inside, find some scoring options. This is going to be a nice rebuild. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about maybe just jumping around from team to team. I might wait till I really build this team up and then start jumping around. At least get to like a final four. I mean, that might be a little too much. At least get to the NCAA tournament because I don't know if we're going to do it this year. I'm hoping that we do. All we got to do is win our conference tournament, right? And I think we got a chance and be one of the better teams in the conference. We might have a chance at, like, being a 12th seed or whatever it is. But I think we might be able to do it. So looking down inside the paint, that's what we do. Get the ball inside. Easy to lay it up, lay it in. That's all we got to do. It's 95 to 54, though. Okay, it's, it's quite ugly at this point. It, it really is. But the three ball, 
not it's not gonna fall. Okay, and 42 has been disappointing me because he has a three underneath his feet, but he hasn't knocked down a single three all season long. I know it's only been two games, but still, knock down one three, please, because you have a three by your name. No, nope, no, no, it's just not happening for him. It's just not happening for him. They get the ball inside, and he's gonna knock down the three. You see, that's how it's done. That's how it's done. That gives them 100 points. He's flexing on us. It's 100 to 56, bro. We are getting demolished. Okay, it is ugly right now, but we get the ball inside, and again, that's just what we got to do, and I think that can win. I know in today's basketball, it's all about the three ball, but I think we can win scoring inside if we can get some stops. So, I think everybody that's in the conference, you know, uh, they better be on notice, because my inside game is crazy good, okay? Three-point shot, not the best, but my inside game, crazy good. That's going to do it for this one. 104 to 63. Texas, they get to embarrass us. But that's why we came. We came so that they can embarrass us. Okay? That's why small schools play bigger schools so the bigger schools can look good in front of the alum, faculty, and, you know, the student body, all that stuff. So our highest score was the homie Dumont. All right? 12 points. He got all his points from the three ball. He was four for eight from three, four for nine overall. We got to get some more consistent scoring, obviously. But I'm taking things over from substitutions, timeouts, late game fouling, and play calling on defense. I'm taking over. It should help us a little bit more. I'm going to get about here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace. Love. Hot sauce.